Hey guys, Scott here. In this video, we're going to look at keeping WordPress updated. Now, if you've been using WordPress for a while, you would have noticed that there's a lot of updates that come out and it's the same with any other web application. One of the main reasons they update a lot is um, for security because in certain versions, after a while, people figure out like cracks and ways to break it and stuff so that as soon as the WordPress team knows of any issues like that, they fix the issues of security patches and and release a new updated version of WordPress. So it is actually very important to keep your WordPress up to date. So in this video, we're just going to have a look at updating WordPress and how to check if your WordPress is updated. So first, just open your browser. And now you need to go to this, your site where you actually have WordPress installed. Okay, so here's my sample blog, which I've left for a while so that it, I know it's definitely out of date. And now I'm going to just log in as administrator. From the front page here, you can't actually tell what version it is or what if it's out of date or anything like that. So what you need to do is log in as administrator. To do this, just go to the address bar at the top here from wherever your WordPress installation is and type in wp-login and I spelled that wrong dot php and then Enter. Okay, so now I want to log in. Just enter username and password. Okay, so usually WordPress is really good at notifying you that it's out of date. Because you can see here from the dashboard for the administration main page, it's telling me WordPress 3.1 is available. Please update now. So you can actually just click here to update it. So if you ever see this message, all you need to do is click here and it'll update it for you. So I'm going to click that. And you'll see here it says that I'm using, I'm just going to go back now. You'll see here it says you're using WordPress 3.0.1. So they're now up to 3.1. So that's a, there would have been quite a few versions between the two, but it's letting you know that there's a newer version. And you can also update here, update 3.1. So clicking either of those will work, but I'm going to click please update now. Now you can download it yourself. And this will download the package for WordPress for 3.1 of WordPress and you can upload the new files yourself, but it is actually probably quickest and easiest just to click update automatically. I've never had a problem with this and it's always worked perfectly. And it's very quick, much quicker than doing it yourself. And WordPress was updated successfully. It's so much quicker and easier to use the automatic update. If you wanted to though and you know how to, you can download the full package file and upload the new files that is the update package. But it's easier to do it this way. Now if I go back to the dashboard. Now unless you change your dashboard, you should always have this right now thing on the front page here, which tells you what version of WordPress you're using. And if it's outdated, it will have an update now here. But if you want to check if your WordPress is outdated and it's not telling you here and you just want to confirm it, you come over here, go to a new page, and you can go to wordpress.org. Now wordpress.com is actually the hosting of WordPress, free WordPress blogs. Wordpress.org is where you actually get the software to host your own WordPress site. So you want wordpress.org, not .com. And you'll see straight up here, it tells you what the latest version is because you can download WordPress 3.1. That's the latest version. But if this isn't on the front page here, you can click download here. And now this will tell you download WordPress 3.1 and that's the latest version. And that will always be the latest version of the current stable release of WordPress. And it tells you here the latest stable release of WordPress is version 3.1. And you can compare that with yours, 3.1. So then you know yours is definitely fully up to date. It also helps to keep an eye on the WordPress blog as well, that they release any updates they've done and tell you about the update. Now, if for some reason you don't have this right now thing telling you you are using this version of WordPress and you can't figure out what version of WordPress you have, and it's not telling you you need to update, if you go to the bottom of any page in WordPress on the administration side, you'll see here it says what version you're using in the bottom right-hand corner, so version 3.1. And that's basically all you need to do to know that your WordPress installation is up to date. Now I know this video tutorial is actually quite easy and the majority of you might not have 
needed a tutorial on this, but I know there are certain people that don't know about updating WordPress and don't know why it's important. So I thought it'd be beneficial to release this video. And just on another quick note about updating, you should always check to make sure your plugins are updated because you can have issues with plugins if they go outdated and you keep your WordPress updated. So if you look here, updates, you'll see there's five there. It's telling you four um, plugins need updating in one theme. And you can see here those plugins are outdated and this theme's outdated. Now, you always want to keep these updated as well because they can have security issues in them sometimes. So it's best just to keep them updated. So I'm just going to click select all and update all the plugins. This is also very easy to do. And there we go, it's all done. All three done successfully. But now if we go back to updates, there'll still be the one theme that's not updated, which is the theme I'm actually using. So if you had multiple ones, I'd just click select all anyway and click update themes. And was done successfully. And now if you click updates from this dashboard here, it'll tell you, you have the latest version of WordPress. You can actually reinstall the whole of WordPress automatically as well if you have an issue. And to reconfirm it, you can also click check again, and this will be, it'll tell you your last check. So if this is actually, if the last check was actually a while ago, which it shouldn't be, but if it's a few days old or something, just click check again. And that'll recheck that. And it's still updated. So that's a quick video tutorial on how to make sure your WordPress is updated and WordPress plugins are updated. If you're watching this video on YouTube, there'll be a link to my website in the description. And please subscribe and rate this video. Thank you.